my friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to an extremely exciting new series that you're gonna find here on Jen's WW journey we are gonna talk all things eat this not that on WW. I'm going to be sharing with you what not to eat and what to eat, making some savvy swaps to help fit foods that you love into your points a little bit better, make them a little healthier, a little less points, and of course, still absolutely delicious. So this is going to be a four part series. This video is the first one. We're going to be talking about savvy swaps and eat this, not that for breakfast. We're going to do that for lunch and dinners, for condiments and for snacks and desserts. So when this four part series is over, you are going to have so many savvy swaps, you're not gonna know what to do with yourself. So I'm very excited to bring to you today the very first video in this series. And this is going to be savvy swaps, eat this, not that, for breakfast on WW. <music> jump right in. We're going to start with those beverages that we like to consume first thing in the morning as part of our breakfast and sometimes even as our breakfast. And the first thing that comes to mind is coffee. Now, a lot of us like black coffee and a lot of us don't. So what are some good swaps that you can make when it comes to your coffee? So of course you have your traditional creamers, half and half. They are full of fat and sugar and therefore they're full of points. So it's very easy to make some savvy swaps and swap out those high point creamers and half and half for some other low point but yet delicious options. The first thing comes to mind is sugar-free creamer. You guys know I love this. I drink it pretty much every day. I featured it in my top 20 foods. If you like your coffee sweet but you don't want to spend a lot of points then sugar-free creamer is definitely the way to go. You still get up to three tablespoons for one smart point. That is plenty to make a big cup of coffee nice and creamy and sweet. Now if you're not a big sweet coffee drinker you can swap your regular half and half for your fat free half and half and that makes the points tremendously less. You can have again up to about three tablespoons for one smart point. You can even have one tablespoon of fat free half and half for zero smart points. So that's a great savvy swap is to take regular half and half and swap it out for fat free half and half. There are other great low point creamers on the market that maybe have a little bit better ingredients than your sugar free creamers. The Better Than Half and Half has some great options. There's also some silk and some non-dairy alternative creamers out there that are really low in points as well. So check out those. Those are good options for you if you're not interested in the sugar-free creamer. So it's very easy to make those savvy lower point swaps on your morning cup of joe. So what about your cup of juice? What if you want a good glass of juice with your morning breakfast? As you know, traditional juices are very high in smart points because they're very high in sugar. So your traditional orange juice, tomato juice, grape juice, apple juice are gonna be high in smart points. So make those savvy swaps for a diet juice. Ocean Spray makes a ton of absolutely delicious diet juices. Most of them are cranberry based. I really love the pink light and I've been really into the cranberry grape lately. So that's a good dupe for the grape juice, the apple juices. There's even a cran apple if you are a big fan of apple juice. As far as orange juice goes, make a swap for a lighter orange juice. Trop 50 has a 50 calorie orange juice, which is a great alternative to the traditional very high six, seven smart point glasses of orange juice. So when it comes to juice, you can still have it. You just have to find alternatives and lower point options for your glass of juice in the morning. Next up is milk. Some of us want a big, tall, cold glass of milk with our morning breakfast, and milk is high in points strictly because dairy has naturally occurring sugars. But there are so many milk alternatives out there. So swap out your regular milk for a light milk, such as Fairlife or even Carb Master, if you do have a Kroger or a Fred Meyer in your area. You can also substitute that for a non-dairy milk like almond milk or coconut milk or even oat milk. And you're going to save yourself a lot of smart points, but you're still gonna be able to have a glass of milk. And this same milk swap can be used in cereal as well. 
you won't even know the difference and you're gonna be saving yourself a lot of points from your traditional milk. Now, if you just can't get past regular milk and you love regular milk, your best option is fat free milk or 1% milk. Those are going to be the lowest in smart points. So if you can't get past and get rid of your favorite glass of milk, go ahead and indulge, but just choose a healthier or lower point option in the fat free or 1%. Otherwise, take advantage of some of those great milk alternatives. So speaking of cereal, let's talk about cereal. Cereal is a not only high in points and high in sugar for the most part, it is also not nutrient dense enough to keep you full. In my opinion, I very rarely eat cereal on my WW journey. I, again, I just don't find that it keeps me very full. If I do end up having a bowl of cereal, I will generally pair that with some sort of a protein, like a bacon or an egg or something that's going to just help me make it through my morning because cereal just doesn't fill me up. And there are some not so great cereals out there that are delicious, like my favorite, Lucky Charms, Frosted Flakes, Apple Jacks, all of the things. But you can swap those out for a lighter cereal and still be able to indulge in a bowl of cereal in the morning. So there are some great lighter cereal options out there. Corn flakes are very low in smart points, but they still have a natural sweetness to them. So if you're wanting a sweet cereal, that's a great option. Special K, you can do the special K with berries and you're gonna get that fruit and that crunchy cereal. Regular plain old Rice Krispies is a great option as well. And then there are the Kashi cereals that are a little less smart points, but far more nutrient dense than those high sugar cereals. So you can still have your cereal, just savvy swap that out for one that's not only going to keep you full, but is going to be lower in smart points. How about yogurt? What if you want some yogurt in the morning? Stay away from the high sugar yogurts. Also the higher fat yogurts have more points as well. But there are a lot of us out there that like that full fat yogurt. So we'll just take the points hit for it. Some great options if you are looking for a full fat yogurt that is going to be a little bit higher in smart points is Siggy's. So Siggy's has a 2% or 4% full fat yogurt that is delicious. So that's an option for you. But if you're wanting to save on smart points and you're not opposed to having a lower fat option, Dannon Light and Fit yogurt is a great choice at two smart points per little container. Oikos triple zero is three smart per container. And my very favorite low point yogurt is Siggy's, but the 0% milk fat. And that is also three smart points per container. So yogurt is great if you buy the right yogurt. Yogurt that has some nutritional value. Greek yogurt is always your best option. And of course, a fuller fat Greek yogurt is really the best option, but is just going to cost you a little bit more smart points. So you have to swap what you wanna swap. And maybe full fat yogurt is not something you wanna swap out. But if you do, there are some excellent low point, lower fat yogurt options available to you. Let's talk pancakes. What about pancakes or waffles? What if you just want that carby, crunchy deliciousness of a pancake or a waffle? There are several great options out there for you for pancake and waffle mix. My very favorite is the Birch Benders Paleo. This one is delicious. It is about five smart points per serving, but you can bulk that up with fruit or maybe some Lily's chocolate chips with a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip and some sugar-free syrup, and you have an indulgent pancake or waffle breakfast for low smart points. Kodiak Cakes is also another great option. I absolutely love the buttermilk, and I love the peanut butter and the dark chocolate. Those are great options for another alternative to a pancake or waffle mix. And again, super low in smart points. Now, if you want just your traditional pancake mix, you don't wanna do any of these protein-based ones like Birch Benders or Kodiak Cake, you can look for the Bisquick Heart Smart Mix, and you can also look for any type of pancake mix that is just add water. Then you're only counting smart points for the mix itself, and you're not having to add anything to it to bulk up those smart points. And you have just a plain pancake mix that is just add water. So there are a lot of options out there, and pancake and waffles are definitely on plan. They are low point. You can bulk them up with these protein mixes that taste incredible and get a big punch of protein in your pancake or waffle. I highly 
recommend having a waffle maker on hand. You can do a full size waffle maker or my favorite is the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. I will link it down below for you guys. It comes in so many fun colors and it makes the perfect mini waffles. You can have two or three out of a serving of the pancake waffle mix and you feel like you're having lots of waffles or pancakes for very low smart points. Oatmeal is another great breakfast option, especially if you are on the purple plan because oatmeal is zero smart points. Now, if you are on the blue plan or green plan, you can still have oatmeal because it is traditionally very low in smart points. It's the things that you add to your oatmeal that bulk up the points. So I prefer steel cut oats. I think that they're more hearty. They're in their more natural state. They haven't been processed out like a rolled oat, but you can also indulge in rolled oats as well. And the smart points is so incredibly low for a quarter cup is about two smart points. You can again, bulk that up with fruit. You can add some sugar-free maple syrup. If you like it sweet, you can add in a tablespoon of raisins or reduced sugar craisins for one smart point. You can also add in a tablespoon of most nuts for one smart point and a little bit of light butter if you want that buttery delicious oatmeal. And of course there are tons of brown sugar alternatives out there. My favorite is Sucrin or Lakanto and they are both it sold by Nettrition and there's a link down below for Nettrition in the description box. But you can really make your oatmeal whatever you want. Sweet, savory, whatever you want for your breakfast you can definitely incorporate oatmeal into your day because it is low points and it's a great option just watch what you're putting in your oatmeal what about peanut butter what if we want peanut butter for breakfast peanut butter is traditionally high in smart points you're looking at about six smart points for two tablespoons. Of course, you can cut down the amount of peanut butter that you're eating and of course cut down the points, but there are some great savvy swaps as far as peanut butter goes. My very favorite is Jif Whips. You can have one tablespoon for two smart points or two tablespoons for five smart points. So it is less than traditional peanut butter. But if you knock that down to seven grams, which is quite a bit of Jif Whips, it is only one smart point. It is plenty to top a slice of toast or even stir into your oatmeal or put it on those pancakes and waffles. So Jif Whips is a fabulous alternative if you want real legit peanut butter, but you wanna save on some smart points. Another savvy swap is PB2. This also comes in almond butter. So there's a couple different peanut butter options, PB2 options for you. Costco has their PB Fit in the big jug for about $14 excellent, excellent price. You can actually have two tablespoons of the powdered peanut butter for one smart point. You can simply mix in some water and create a peanut butter. You can also do Amanda Lewis's recipe where she takes the PB2 powder and mixes in a little bit of sugar-free syrup and it makes a more creamy, sweet, real peanut butter taste and texture. So there are so many options. You don't have to spend a lot of points on your Jif or your Skippy. Stick with your Jif Whips or your PB2 and you still have a delicious peanut butter. What about a muffin? What if you just want a muffin? Can a girl get a muffin? What if you just want that for breakfast? There are options for you. And I'm telling you right now, do not go to your local bakery and buy a muffin because it can be up to 20 smart points for that because they are loaded with butter and sugar. There are muffin alternatives out there. In the worst case scenario, if you don't have any muffin alternatives on hand and you have to have a muffin now, go ahead and buy a store-bought muffin and only eat the top and count the points accordingly for the top. Still not the best point buck for you, bang for your points buck, but it is an option for you if you have to have a muffin right now. You can also make your own muffins using those same pancake and waffle mixes, the Kodiak, the Birch Benders, add some fresh blueberries, strawberries, Lily's chocolate chips. You could even add in some PB2 and make a peanut butter muffin. That is a great option if you have time to go ahead and prepare your own muffin. But my favorite on the go, grab, go, eat muffin is the smart muffin from smart baking company these are outstanding and they are huge you guys they are the size of a costco muffin and they range anywhere from two to three smart points that's it for an entire muffin you cannot make a muffin this size for that amount of smart points and they are so delicious they have chocolate chip banana nut and pumpkin spice the pumpkin is two smart points the chocolate chip and banana nut are three I love the banana nut and the pumpkin. 
I'm not the biggest fan of the chocolate chip, but I know that there are a lot of people out there who absolutely love it. Our tastes vary, so you just have to find the one that works best for you. But you can order these on the Smart Baking Company website. My code here will give you 10% off of your order. This is the same company that makes the Smart Buns, which are the one Smart Point hamburger buns, and they also make the Smart Cakes, which is a delicious, decadent little cake for one Smart Point. You guys know I'm obsessed with those. I love them. So you can pick all of those items up on the Smart Baking website, but I recommend having some of the Smart Muffins in the freezer for those emergency muffin mornings. Bagels. What if you want a bagel? What if it is an emergency situation and you must have a bagel for your morning breakfast? You can buy, again, your traditional store-bought bagel, but they're gonna cost you between five and eight smart points. In my opinion, not worth it when there are so many savvy swaps when it comes to bagels. If you follow the purple or the blue plan, there is the two ingredient dough bagels where you mix equal parts of self-rising flour and non-fat Greek yogurt, and you can create a two, three, or four smart point bagel using the two ingredient dough. It is a little cumbersome to use. You have to mix the flour and the yogurt and it's sticky and you have to bake it and do all the things, but it's a great alternative from your store bought bagels. There is also Western bagels, which you guys know I love. I eat them all the time. In my opinion, this is another thing that you should have just in your freezer with your muffins are your Western bagels. They range from one smart point for the little mini baglets to three smart points for a full size delicious bagel. And we're talking blueberry, everything bagel, cinnamon, whole wheat, yum. And they are three smart points. Western Bagel also makes a perfect 10 plus healthy grain bagel that is full size and is only two smart points. So you can have your bagel fix for one, two, or three smart points with Western Bagel. I pop it in my toaster, I spray it with a little bit of spray butter for zero smart points, and I legit have a bagel as part of my breakfast for one, two, or three smart points. Highly, highly recommend. When you head over to the Western Bagel website, make sure you are ordering the alternative bagel. So watch for that. If you order the regular bagels, they're gonna be higher in points. So make sure you're ordering the alternative bagels and my code here on the screen will get you 10% off. They do have some build your own boxes and free shipping over $25. So not only will you get 10% off with my code, you'll also get free shipping over $25 throw the bagels in your freezer, and when it's a bagel emergency morning, you have bagels on hand that are well, well within your points. And what if you want cream cheese on that bagel? There are a lot of cream cheese options out there. Of course, you can get your full fat traditional cream cheese. You're just gonna pay a little bit more points for that. There are a lot of low fat cream cheese options. I highly recommend either a whipped cream cheese. It's similar to the Jif Whips. It's whipped cream cheese so it's light and it's airy and it's less smart points, but it goes further because it is light and airy. So that's a great alternative. There's also the third less fat cream cheeses out there that are great to spread on a bagel. And then there are some Greek cream cheeses. I don't have those in my area, but I have seen those on other YouTube channels. So that would be a great option as well. And then of course there is a fat-free cream cheese. In my opinion, fat-free cream cheese is made for cooking and baking with. It is not made to spread on a bagel. It's just not good spread on a bagel. That's my opinion, and again, everyone's tastes are different. You may love fat-free cream cheese on your bagel. So just get what works for you, but you can steer clear of those high fat cream cheeses and do a savvy swap and get a lower fat cream cheese, and it's still absolutely delicious on a bagel. What about protein? Let's talk proteins. Things such as bacon. I love bacon. There are so many great bacon alternatives out there. Of course, you can have regular bacon, but don't eat that and eat one of these. Switch to a center cut bacon. You can have two, three, four pieces for the same smart points as one slice of your high fat traditional bacon. My favorite is Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. It is sold only at Fred Meyer or Kroger stores and it is two slices for one smart point. There are tons of other center cut bacon options. Costco sells some great ones. Traditionally, on average, a slice of center cut bacon is one smart point per slice. You can pretty much depend on that. If you bonus like the private selection and get two slices for one smart point, even better. But most center cut bacon is on average one smart point per slice. Now, if you don't care about that real bacon, you can switch to turkey bacon. And turkey bacon is a great savvy swap as well. 
Again, traditionally about one smart point per slice. There are some options out there. I believe butterball turkey bacon, you can have two slices for one smart point. So you can save points on bacon, but still have real bacon if you take the center cut route or savvy swap that for turkey bacon and you still get that bacon sensation with your morning breakfast. And everybody, or almost everybody, loves bacon. Also sausage. Sausage is another traditional breakfast food. And those high fat sausages don't go there. They are not worth the smart points. They are incredibly high in smart points. And there are so many sausage alternatives out there, way lower in smart points and equally as delicious. First and foremost, my favorite sausage alternative is the Jimmy Dean Turkey Sausage Links. They are only one smart point per link. You can find them in your traditional grocery store and also Costco or Sam's Club will carry the big box of them for less than $10. And again, one smart point per link. They're pre-cooked, you just throw them in the microwave or in a pan or in your air fryer and they are ready to go for your morning breakfast and they are delicious, the closest alternative to a real full fat sausage. There's also chicken and turkey sausage links as well that will save you some smart points in addition to the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links. So just depending on what you want that morning for breakfast, just don't eat the high fat sausage links when there are so many savvy swaps for lower point sausage that is just as equally delicious. You can pair that with your waffle or your pancake, maybe some bacon, and you have a delicious breakfast. I also wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about smoothies. Now, on those hot summer days or when you're in a hurry and you need a quick breakfast to take with you on the road, smoothies are a fabulous option. There is quite the debate about blended fruit. There are those of you that count blended fruit and there are those of you that do not. My personal opinion in the way that I do my journey is I do not count blended fruit. So I am hashtag team no count blended fruit. And the reason for that is because I limit myself to two fruits per day. So if I'm going to make a smoothie that has frozen fruit in it, I count that as one of my fruits for the day and then I'm only allowed one more. That way I'm not overindulging in fruit. Now, technically should I be counting blended fruit? Yes, according to Weight Watchers, we should be counting blended fruit. But it's your journey and you make the decision on what works for you. So whether you count it or not, Fruit smoothies are a great option for breakfast. I highly recommend throwing in some sort of protein powder in your smoothie because just fruit and milk is not going to keep you satisfied in full, nor does it give you that burst of protein that you need first thing in the morning to start your day off on the right foot. So I highly recommend adding a protein powder. As you know, my favorite is the Devotion Angel Food Cake and the Devotion Brownie Batter. I love them. They're absolutely delicious. They don't have any weird protein taste or chalkiness. I love, love, love them. I love to pair the angel food cake with strawberries, blueberries, mangoes, pineapples. It's so delicious. And I love to pair the chocolate or the brownie batter with a frozen banana. Oh, so good. You can even throw in a little bit of PB2 peanut butter powder and you have a chocolate banana peanut butter goodness. So smoothies slash protein shakes are a great option for breakfast, especially if you are some, if you need something quickly and on the go, like you're walking out the door to go to work. It's a great way to keep you full and satisfied. And of course, super low in smart points, whether you count your blended fruit or not. And the last breakfast, eat this, not that, is the incredible edible egg. This deserves definitely an honorable mention as far as breakfast foods go. As you know, if you follow blue or purple, eggs are zero smart points. And if you follow the green plan, they are two smart points per egg. And let me just tell you how amazing eggs are. They are packed full of protein, omega-3s, especially if you opt for like an Eggland's Best that even has that little boost of omegas. They are just a fantastic choice for a breakfast food. I highly recommend that you savvy swap out your traditional cheap eggs for a pasture raised organic or just pasture raised egg. The quality is so much better. You'll notice a big difference in the shell of the egg, the cheap 
eggs have a really thin, cracky shell where your pasture-raised eggs are gonna have a thicker, denser shell. They are also going to have a much oranger yolk, which is exactly what you wanna look for in an egg. Now, to make a savvy swap with eggs, you can do egg whites and save yourself on your smart points. Again, egg whites, you can have, I believe, up to two egg whites on the green plan for zero smart points. And of course, any type of egg on purple or blue is zero. So if you wanna save points, but you still want that punch of protein in the morning, do some egg whites. But I highly recommend adding an egg or two to your breakfast most days of the week. It's going to keep you full and satisfied and there are so many health benefits when it comes to eggs. All right, so that is the first video in my Eat This, Not That, Savvy WW Swap series. I hope it really helped you to learn some of the savvy swaps you can make when it comes to your breakfast throughout the day. Now, if you guys are not breakfast eaters, Eat your breakfast, my friends. It gets your body going, your metabolism going, and really gives you a healthy jump start to your day. It doesn't have to be a full course, four course breakfast. It can be something simple like a protein shake or smoothie that we talked about, or even grabbing a hard boiled egg and a smart muffin on your way out the door. But breakfast is a very important meal. Again, it gets your body going for the day and gets your brain going as well for all of the things that us busy people have to do every single day. So I hope that you enjoyed this Eat This not that. I can't wait to bring you the rest of the videos in this series. Next up is going to be lunch and dinner savvy swap. So I can't wait to share that with you. So definitely stay tuned in the upcoming weeks for lots of eat this, not that videos coming your way. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I'd love it if you would stick around and join my community, hit that little subscribe button and that bell. So you're notified whenever I upload a new video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love this series and you're excited about what's to come, it really helps my channel out. And of course, comment down below, which of these swaps were you most surprised about or things maybe that you didn't think about swapping out for lower points, but still nutritious and delicious as part of your breakfast. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he's